there's a big blank white canvas right in front of you. How do you feel? Are you excited? Or are you a bit terrified? Are you one of the majority of people who've been convinced from early on that I can't draw a stick figure to save my life? Hopefully, not too many lives have been lost over that one. Let's take the story of Olivia. She dedicated her life to teaching, and as she approached retirement, she decided to try something new. So she signed up for one of our sip and paint classes where she'd be led through the process of creating her own painting while getting to socialize and drink wine. Olivia never considered herself to be artistic at all, so when she saw that big white canvas, she felt a bit fearful and apprehensive. But her class was led at a pace that was just quick enough that the left side of her brain didn't have time to analyze, criticize, or seek perf for perfection, while the right side of her brain was just having a ball. She loved it. She has since shocked family members by taking down family photos and filling her home with her rich, luscious paintings. She routinely has friends over for painting parties, and she's even filled an entire wall of her home with a mural of a tree. That's transformation. This could be you. Olivia said, wow, I've liberated a part of myself that I never even knew existed. Or maybe you were the person growing up that everyone considered artsy and creative. Do you have a box of jewelry making supplies shoved way in the back of your hall closet? Didn't that particular art form used to fill you with tremendous joy 20, 30 years ago? Why have you been denying that part of yourself? For you, looking at that big canvas might feel more like a homecoming as it did for Leanne, a former jewelry designer whose new intense left brain career saps nearly all of her energy. She carved out just a little bit of time for a class and she said the reward is, I now see more color everywhere I look and I've got something to talk and think about besides work. Another student, Beth, is simultaneously been dealing with the stress of a recent divorce and the strain over finalizing her dissertation. She used to collage and craft, but she said, I just got bogged down with life, and these are the first things I dropped. For her mental health, she signed up for a painting class, and when she saw that canvas, she breathed a sigh of relief. She said, painting with others is food for my soul, and paint therapy has replaced my talk therapy. She's now collaging again, as well as playing with found art, experimenting with drawing, altering photographs. Wow, she just needed a catalyst. There are countless stories, creative light bulbs turning on all over the place, and it's simple. People come together for a creative activity. They go home, and their everyday palette in speech, in dress, in home decor suddenly takes on more saturated, rich hues. For myself, even though I've been a working professional artist for 25 years, I too have gotten bogged down trying to run a business, please customers while raising a family. And when I look back, I realize the best creative moments occurred when I was the least concerned with outcome and when it felt more like play. The classes seem to have the most impact for women, for women between the ages of 35 and 65, the years when we're juggling the load of careers, raising children, aging parents, you name it. The times when we don't feel we can give ourselves permission to craft or create, but the years when we need it the most. Ask any woman you know how she's doing, and she will invariably answer, I am busy, crazy busy. It's true. We're all busily going just a bit crazy because we haven't carved out some creative me time. The last generation got it. Here's a picture from Cleo's Memorial Quilt Show. She spent a lifetime lovingly designing quilts for her family and then stitching them up together with her quilter friends. Look at the fun she's having in period garb. The millennials get it too. Here's an example of what my daughter Abby, my 20-year-old daughter Abby calls, not your grandma's crochet, that she does when she regularly gets together with her girlfriends. No, it's those of us in the middle that seem to have forgotten 
the age-old sense of release, relief, and renewal that comes from participating in the group collaborative creative experience. Maybe, well, we all know that physical fitness, for example, is good for our overall health and well-being. Maybe someday it'll become the norm to say something like, honey, I'm stopping off at the creativity lounge on the way home, just like we would about the gym. If we did, we would be better able to cope with the sometimes relentless demands of modern day life. And each of our personal lives would feel richer, fuller, and more colorful. So what thrills you? Is it photography, drawing, sculpture? What are you waiting for? <laughs>